Remove all the hook fasteners. Now place the body of the sling directly onto the injured arm. And then place the securing fastener with the anti-twist loop in line with the wrist with the buckle on the posterior aspect which is next to the body. Now feed the shoulder strap across the patient's back and over the shoulder and then continue through the anti-twist loop. Ensure the limb is in the optimum position for the indication before securing the strap using the touch and close fastening system onto the opposing side. Now apply the second securing fastener at the proximal aspect of the forearm to hold the body of the sling secure. Check the sling is secure and comfortable for the patient. The patient will be able to do controlled pendulum exercises of the shoulder whilst maintaining the correct position and support to the injury. The body of the sling can be shortened in length. To make it shorter, position the hook buttons between the two lines of stitching on both sides of the sling and fold the ends of the sling aligned to the stitching as this is a guide and helps to maintain the fold. To fit the waist strap, feed the strap through the buckle on the posterior aspect of the hook securing tab positioned at the wrist. And then secure with the touch and close fastening system. Feed the strap across the back and around the waist and across the anterior body of the sling and secure using the touch and close fastening system. This feature will now hold the arm and shoulder very secure. Check the sling is secure and comfortable for the patient.